estás? Bien, aquí, gracias a Dios, todo Hi. bien. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Hi. Excellent. Hi. Very good. good. Hi. Hi, nice to see you guys. Very good. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Hi, good evening. So I have... Uh, Noemi, welcome, Eric, Williams, Mario, Eli, yeah. Alexia, Elmer. Thank you, thank you. Rocio, Diego, who's on Galaxy A20. I need to know your name. And Ana Valencia. Hello, guys. Hello, yes, sir. Hello, coach. How are you doing, coach? I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, guys. So, Hello. are you I'm guys... excited. Let's start it. Yeah, very <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, very good guys. Let's see. Aparte de Mario, who else is new? Um, Nobody, right? Galaxy. Who else is new? Uh, who's on Galaxy A20? I need to know your name. Hello, hello. It's not answering. The invisible. It's invisible, huh? Hey. All right, hi, Jose Rodriguez, Jose Ramos, Williams. Hello, Williams. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Excellent, all right, very good. Okay, guys, you know what? We're going to change the rules this time. <laughs> not really. Uh, rules? No, we're not really gonna change the rules, but you know what? I need to see you guys, so please turn your cameras on. I really need to know who's there. All right, so thank you, okay. Eric and Noemi. Got my own. All right, very good. Not my own right now. Yeah, very good. Elmer, what happened to your camera? Put it, ah, hello, Rocio. Ya la volví. Ana, very good. All right, Diego, hello, thank you. So you make sure you have your cameras on so I, I can see you and we can communicate better here. All right, Jenny, Jenny Portillo, are you, are you new? And Alexia Martinez, are you guys, are you girls new? Yes, I'm new. All right. Hi. Welcome, Alexia. Very good. Thank uh, you. Rosco. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, look, look at you laughing. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. So, Eli. Hello, Eli. All right, guys. So, for the ones that are just uh, joining us, uh, my name Leo. is Cerritos, and I'm going to be your uh, teacher. So, here I am. Awesome. Okay you guys all right very good so let's start do you guys have access to the platform did everybody yeah, have do. access to the platform yes hi magdiel nice to see you jennifer acosta very good please turn your camera guys please so i can see who i'm talking to all right thank you elmer no sea así ponga su cámara we want to see you he's not dicho ni buenas noches elmer ahora what happened good evening, my dear teacher all right very good how do you say pereme? Pereme, I don't know. Hold on. Turn on your camera on, honey. Wait a me. Wait, Wait a me. me. All right. Eric, Wait a me. Eric, what happened? You were always Wait. like live, and today I see your picture, Eric. What happened? I don't know. It's shy. <laughs> now, come on, Eric. <laughs> You're not shy. <laughs> Anyway, all right, guys, so let's begin. It's very nice to be with you again. So let's start working. Now we're on pre-advanced three, and you guys keep on advancing, which is very nice. So, uh, hi, El Mesito. So hi. here we have a, what we have, what we're going to be talking about. But before I start, just to remind you, just like general rules or normas de convivencia, as we say in Spanish, Please, uh, if you are like in a big family and a lot of people like speak and watch TV at the same time, make sure that, you mics, that your mics are off just to avoid any like interference. So please like shut it off. If you need to say something or if I ask you, you of course you can like turn it back on, but we don't want to hear the el señor del pan or el carro or whatever else, all right? Or you or someone. Las tortillas. In the house. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so make sure that you keep your microphones off or muted for a little bit, all right? Uh, but in case you need to say something, of course, you can turn it back on. Please have your cameras on so I know who you are and I can see you better so we can, like, connect better, all right? So that's nice. Um, again, you guys know how I work. I usually always have uh, a 
PowerPoint presentation to share with you. All right, so that's the one that uh, in class. All right, reinforcing the same topic that is on the platform. I'm not gonna show you something new. So the idea for you guys is to uh, previously study is the, uh, the video on the platform and everything, so you know what I'm talking about. But again, in case you were not able to do it, then uh, you're gonna learn it while we're here. And then after class, you can actually go on to the platform and work on it, all right? So that's pretty much how I work. Remember that all the exercises are mandatory, all right? Being in class with me here tonight and every night is good, it's good for you. You get a chance to practice and to get, you know, like, you can socialize with your classmates and everything, of course, being respectful all the time and just giving an opportunity for everyone to participate, which is like the uh, aim of this course. And then going back to the platform, you need to work on your exercises or on your not to work on your midterm and you need to work on your final test. All right, so for you to like keep on going further on your program right after pre-advanced three is advanced one all right so you're getting closer guys very good so i do congratulate you because you you're there and you're learning and that's very good do you have any questions especially from the ones that are like new to the group do you have any questions i already said that my name is jessica cerritos for the ones that just got in do you have questions, concerns, or anything that you still don't know how it works from the ones that are just with us for the first time or everything is okay? Any questions, yeah. thank you. All right, okay. My name is Natalie. Good Hi, evening. Natalie, good evening. Thank you, Natalie, all right. So uh, for the ones that just got in, in case you can turn on your cameras, I will appreciate it so I know like I can actually see you and everything. So in case your camera doesn't work, it's okay. but if you are just shy, try not to be. All right, very good. Okay, so here we go, guys. We're gonna share my, the well, this is what we're going to do first. I'm gonna go to the uh, platform. This is the video that is, that is the first video on the platform, which is 1.1. Uh, thank you so much for the ones that already uh, wrote some of your answers right after the video. If you notice, I already sent messages to you guys uh jennifer acosta i didn't send to you because uh you sent it after i checked but if you notice that you have two uh, the number two that means that i posted something all right the, that i commented something so you can always go back and check that would be the idea for you to do that all right so i always check so make sure that you type something and if you have already done it thank you so much because you guys are such good students all right so here we go, we're going to start with this one. I'm gonna share the computer audio. I want you to listen to the conversation. Why do I wanna begin this way today? Because this is where the topic that I'm going to be teaching you is based on, all right? So please pay attention to the conversation and just relax and listen, all right? So all right. what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. All right. Another turning point. All right, so here we have, we're gonna go back here, guys. So here we have the, uh, the conversation and they're talking about turning points in their lives, all right? And if you pay close oh, attention, you like you were who's listening to that? Okay, <laughs> the video. All right, so here we have the conversation and what I want you to do is to pay attention to some specific words which they are called subordinating conjunctions for example after then before all right so kind of like see here i'm going to make it a little bigger um see here if you guys can actually find words like those i just mentioned if you know what a subordinating conjunction is then you will identify them right away if you don't kind of guide yourself with 
words like before, after, then, and all those, all right? So I'm gonna read it to you, and if you see one of those little words, stop me and tell me that's one, subordinating conjunction. That's the name that they are being given, all right? So it says, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You really what made graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, no guys, you have not seen any word in particular? No, not yet, okay. I never had any important, okay. I never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. That's one. All right, which one? Uh, yeah. but then. Then, very then. good, all right, yeah. Okay, I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was uh, a teenager. Well, no? okay, when, very good, thank you. All right, so what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away became. from home. Mm. Mm, no, after. became. After? After. after, after, very good, after, after. nice. After. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Good. So if you notice, you kind of like found some of the words that we're going to be working with tonight. Okay. Once. Uh, Once could be. Yeah, could Once. be. Yes, sure. All right. Very good. Um, just give me a second here. I need to stop sharing this so I can move on to the other one. Hold on. Just give me a second. Just give me one quick second. So became is not possible. No, that became it's, it's in this yes. case is a verb. So no. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. Here, just give me a second. I cannot get it working. There you go. All right. So here we have what we're going to be talking on tonight. Just let me load it up for you. Give me a second, guys, please. Sorry, okay. internet is quite slow today because of the rain and everything. Is it raining at your places right now? No? No. Good. At the moment, no. Excellent. No, right now, right. no. Okay. All right. Okay. So here, guys, this is what we have. Any time clauses, this is what we're going to work on. So we have before. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Before yes. I had my first job, I was really immature. And after I got my first job, I became more mature. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. The moment I moved away from home, I felt like a different person. As soon as I got my own bank account, I started to be more responsible. Until I graduated, I never had any important responsibilities. When I graduated from high school, I had already started working. Now, these little words, guys, they are called subordinating conjunctions, okay? So one topic is related to the next topic, time clauses with subordinating conjunctions. We make time clauses using subordinating conjunctions, okay? So I'm going to stop right here with this. And then I'm going to take you to my presentation that I have here, which is time clauses, okay? Now, what are they used for, okay? Noe, can you read what it says here, please? A time clauses, uh, they are used to say when something uh, happens. Very good. They are used to say when something happens, okay? Let's continue here. This is why we use time clauses. Rocio, can you keep on working? Uh, can you keep on reading, please? When, as, after, until, while, since, as soon as, before. Excellent. All right. Very good. Okay, so now, right now, we're going to work on what they mean, all right? So we have when, while, as. Mario, can you read, please? Sure. Uh, uh, 
Which Mario, though? Uh, yeah, we are Mar two Marios oh, in this meeting. Oh, I'm sorry, Mario Vasquez, I'm sorry. Okay, um, they can be used for two events happening at the same time, meaning during the time. Okay. And then I can't, I can't go far there down. Go. Mm -hmm. The earthquake occurred yes, when, can. while as they were sleeping. All right, thank you. So here we says that you can use when, while, or as because they mean, a, or they can be used for two events happening at the same time, meaning during the time. So for this example, you can say the earthquake occurred when they were sleeping, or you can say the earthquake occurred while they were sleeping, or you can say the earthquake occurred as they were sleeping. Ojo, you cannot say the three uh, words at the same time. All right, you, you make sure that you don't do that. You cannot say the earthquake occurred when, while, as they were sleeping. Is either one or the other one, okay? Yeah? Okay. All right, okay. then we Let's have, check. yes, okay, very good. Uh, Eddie, can you continue please, as soon as and once? Yeah. As soon as, as soon as one thing, mm -hmm. uh, immediately after. Immediately after, uh huh. As soon as Anthony left the house, it started to rain. Ah, or you can say once Anthony left the house, it started to rain. Okay, very good. So, what does as soon as and once mean? They mean immediately after. All right, that's what they mean. Very good. Selena, can you keep on reading? Hi, Selena. Before or earlier, I mean, before me, uh, continue, Selena, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Before and earlier than she left before I could tell her something. Excellent, all right? So before means earlier than. She left before I could tell her something. All right, so I didn't have the chance to say anything to her. Very good. Selena, nice to have you back again with us. All right, very good. Let's continue. Jose Rodriguez, next. After. Thank you. After. After everyone is gone from the party, we're going to clean up all the mess. Okay, after. After everyone is gone out, uh, from the party, we're going to clean up all the mess. After means like after something, all right? You know the meaning of after. Uh, Jennifer Acosta, can you read this, please? Until, till, up to that time. Mm -hmm. I won't travel to London until I have enough money. Excellent, all right? So I won't travel to London till I have enough money. You can use either or, all right? And they mean the same. Let's continue here. Elmer, can you read this one, please, Elmer? Since, from the moment, from mm -hmm. the, the time, I played tennis since I was a young girl. Excellent. Okay, I, play, pero. <laughs> I play tennis <laughs> since I was a young girl, all right? So, or from the moment or whatever, you can use that one or the other one. Thank you, Elmer. So let's see. Um, Jenny Portillo. No, I did not, Elmercito. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. It's your luck. Uh -huh. Jenny Portillo, can you read this one, please? She Ever knew. since. <laughs> Ever since. Yes, please. Ever since continuously since a specified time or a specified time or event. All right. Ever since. Ever since mm -hmm. I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. Excellent. Thank you, Jenny. Very good. Mario Vasquez, you had a question? Yeah, um, I was wondering what if we try to use, like, for example, since I was young, so since can be used to, to actually determine a past tense as well? Yes. How can I use that? So I, I use, um, for example, can I add, add, add it to the word ed to make a past tense? Usually with the time clauses, uh, Mario, and this is what we're going to keep on studying later on, you need to use either a present tense or a simple past. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. We're gonna get to that. Barbara, let's see. Barbara Guevara, can you keep on reading, please? Ever, every time I'm very worried, I have trouble getting asleep. Whenever I am very worried, I have trouble getting asleep, or every time I'm worried, I have trouble getting asleep. Very good, thank you. Okay, worried. now this, okay, this is what I want you to see. Well, before that, I want you to, let's see, we're going to take a look at, okay, let, take a look at this sentence, guys. She left before I could tell her something, okay? Picture that in your mind. She left before I could tell her something, all right? And then I want you to picture the other one, which, whoops, I'm sorry, here. And this one, ever since, I was a kid, I had trouble getting up early. Can you tell me what the difference between those sentences is? Guys, this one, ever since I was a kid, I've had, I've had trouble getting up early. And the other one was here. What was the question again? Before I could tell her something. Can you tell me the difference between these two sentences? um there the is something that is different sure the that time well one the time. okay she uh, left before i could tell her something all right you're using the that word was like under oh. the past right yeah you're using uh -huh. and and it's and the sweet. other one is like happening right now yeah but besides that there's exactly. something else going on Look at this sentence, guys. Before she left, I mean, she left before I could tell her something. Where are we using the word before? At the beginning of your sentence? No. No? no. Where after are we using the verb. it? After the verb. Thank you. So if, we, if it is after the verb, do we need a comma, guys? Are we using a comma in this sentence? No. Oh, no, no, no. She left no. before I could tell her something. Look at the other sentence that I'd ask you to look at. Or even this one, but anyway. Uh, it was this guy, right? The little boy? It was the little boy, right? Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. Where is ever since? At the beginning, in the middle? Middle, the beginning. In the, the in beginning. The beginning. Ever the beginning. since is in the middle or the beginning? At the beginning. At the, be the beginning. The beginning. Mm -hmm. All right. Beginning. Are we using a comma? Yeah. Yes, yeah. because it's yeah. like two sentences. That's right. Thank you very much, Jennifer. You're using two sentences here. One is called an independent sentence and the other one is called a dependent sentence. All right. So we're going to see this. So whenever we begin our sentences with these subordinating conjunctions, we're going to need a comma. All right, if we don't begin our sentences with subordinating conjunctions, for example, this one, I have played tennis since I was a young girl. Since is not at the beginning. So therefore we need, we don't use a comma. You understand that? Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Let's yes. Right don't worry about it. We're gonna keep on seeing more examples, but I wanna show you this. Remember, I want you to read this. Uh, Alexia, can you please read this for us? Yeah, remember, when the time clause appears at the beginning of the sentence, a comma must be used after it. My friends visited me while I was recovering in the hospital. Okay. I, <laughs> while I was recovering in the hospital, my friends visited me. Very good. Thank you, Alex. Very good. So it says when the time clause or that little word appears at the beginning of the sentence, a comma must be used after it. After I was recovering in the hospital, comma, my friends visited me. Or you can say my friends visited me while I was recovering in the hospital. You may use it at the beginning. You may use it at the, like at the middle of your sentence. All right. But you need to remember that when you begin with a subordinating conjunction or a time clause, all right, then you need a comma. Do you understand that? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Very good. Okay. Very yes. nice. Let's continue here. Okay. Time clause. Let's see who wants to read this one. Someone that has not participated yet. The other Mario. <laughs> ah, the other Mario. Very good, Mario. Uh, what's your last name? Mario Cortez, right? Mario Cortez. Cortez. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Remember, a time clause be it with before, after, or while can be reduced only if the subject in the sentence other clauses is the same. Mm -hmm. After I work out, I take a shower. After working out, I take a shower. I take a shower after working out. All right. Take okay. A shower. All right. So you, if nice you notice, body. you have uh, different ways to say this, but that's pretty much what it is. Now, what you, what I really need to like remember and understand is this. All right. I'm gonna stop this presentation and I'm gonna share another one with you. But you know what? Before I do that, there's also here on the platform. This is what I want you to see. You're going to see this on the platform if in case you have not seen it yet. It's there on the platform on the section that we're working on. And it says time clauses. This is something that you need to remember. All clauses require a subject and a verb. A time clause is a dependent clause, okay? It cannot stand alone. It must be connected to a main clause. That means that an idea that is not complete is a dependent clause. Okay, because it depends from something else on what we're doing. As Jennifer said, we're joining two sentences together to make a longer sentence or a more complex sentence. The time clause can come before or after the main clause. When the time clause comes before the main clause, a comma separates the two clauses. And that, that's exactly what we're looking at, the examples that I just showed you. All right, here, let's see Three, here. The time clause. Hold on, we're gonna go, okay. See, this one, before I had my first job. If I come to you out of the blue and I say, hey, Mario, before I had my first job, before. Mario is gonna look at me like, what are you talking about? Because my, right. my idea is not complete, all right? You, Mario's gonna be expecting more information, okay? <laughs> So that means that that sentence is a dependent clause. It depends from another idea, okay? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't really make, I mean, it makes sense, but the, the, the thought is not complete because you're kind of wondering, okay, what else are you gonna tell me? If I say, hey, Mario, before I had my first job and I go quiet and you're looking at me like, uh-huh. So what, what else are you gonna tell me, right? Yeah? Yeah. So here it says it makes no sense because the complete the thought is not completed, all right? So here we need something else. And then that, to join that, we need, that's why we need um, a subordinated conjunction to help us join two sentences, okay? So this is what they do. That's why, that's why we need to use them. Subordinating conjunctions, they provide a necessary connection between the two ideas in a sentence. This transition indicates a time, a place, or a cause and effect. Okay, so we need to know those subordinating conjunctions in order for us to make sense. Do you understand do. what I'm saying? They provide a necessary or cause and effect. The lights came on. Okay, look at this one. If I come to Eric and I say, Eric, once the light come, uh, sorry, once the light came on, and I go quiet. Eric is going to look at me like, uh -huh, what happened just now? All right? Because my idea is not complete. But if I say, Eric, once the light came on, we all shouted with joy. All right? So my idea is complete. How am I joining these two sentences? I'm using a time clause. In other words, I'm using a subordinating conjunction. The little word once. That's the, that's, that's, that is the subordinating conjunction. Okay, the whole phrase, once the light came on, is a time clause, all right? Because I'm giving you a time, a specific moment that it, when it happened. And then I write a comma because my subordinated conjunction or my time clause is at the beginning. Do you understand that, guys? Yes? yes. All right? Yeah. Uh, or yeah. the other sentence that I have after I got my first job. If I can't do... Uh, Natalia, you told me your name was, right? Yes, Natalie. Okay. 
Oh, Natalie. All right, Natalie. Okay. So after I got my first job, and Natalie's like looking at me like, uh huh. Continue. What happened after you got your first job? Did you get married? Did you buy a car? Did you? I don't know what happened. Right? You need to know more information. So I said, Ah, okay. After I got my first job, I became totally independent. And she's like, Oh, really? And then we carry on a conversation. Yes. If you notice, I'm yeah. using clause using a subordinating conjunction, which is what. What is my subordinating conjunction in that in that sentence? After. 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 Be perfect. Yes. After is my subordinating conjunction. And because it is at the beginning, what do I need? Mario Cortez, on my sentence, I need a what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because I'm using a subordinated conjunction on my time clause that is at the beginning of my sentences, I need a comma. All right? Oh, okay. Yeah, after I got my first job, I became totally independent. I need a comma between those two um, ideas, let's say. Yes? Great. Guys, do you understand? Okay. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Are yeah. you sure? That means uh -huh. when we use a subordinating conjunction in the middle of the sentence, we don't, mm -hmm. uh, we don't need to use a comma, right? Perfect, Eric. Very well done. Yeah, nice. That's what okay. happens. Very good. Okay, I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you uh, another presentation about only subordinating conjunctions. Because remember that on the platform, guys, we have like, uh, let's say, a couple of examples. My job is to give you a little bit more. All right. So you guys get more, like, more, you get more material, you get more information. And then you guys keep on working on everything else that you need to do in order to improve your English. All right. So here we have, I'm going to share this with you now. After the class, I can share like all the presentations just for you to like keep on working here. Okay. So here, hold on. Uh, let me see. I'm going to go to this one. Okay. So this is what I want you to see. Uh, let me see. Magdiel, can you read, please, this subordinating conjunctions, Magdiel? Yes. Sure, teacher. Oh. Yeah, okay, Magdiel, right. Magdiel, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, subordinating conditions are used to join a, a dependent clause, incomplete clause to an independent clause. Very good. Subordinating, thank you. Subordinating conjunctions are used to join a dependent clause, in other words, an incomplete thought to an independent clause, okay? So we're using subordinating conjunctions to join two sentences, two ideas. One is going to be the complement of the other one. I need both to make sense, okay? Common subordinating conjunctions. These are the common ones. There are many more, all right? Jose Rodriguez, can you read this ones, please? Okay. After, before, once, also, mm -hmm. as, as it, as long as, as though, because, still. All right, there are many, many more. Common, let's continue here. Uh, conjunctions, let's see. Uh, um, Eric, I uh, know Eric, no. Ana mm -hmm. Valencia, can you keep on reading, please? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Thank you already for participating. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes. I'm kidding. Even if, even through if, even if though only, if, even though if, even though if, okay, mm -hmm. if only, yes, in order to, now that rather than, in, so that done. Very good. All right. So if you notice, there are many more. All right. More yeah. common subordinating conjunctions. Galicia, can you read, please? Diego? Ah, sorry. That's okay. Uh, that, unless, until, when, whenever, where, where, whereas, when, whereas, whatever, whereas, mm -hmm. why. Very good. Whereas. Very good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, very good. Jose Ramos, can you read this, please? Subordinating conjunctions. Mm. Okay, example. I will be able to drive when I get older. I will be able to drive in the funding clause. 
complete doubt. When it get older, dependent clause, <coughs> complete doubt. The subordinating conjunction, when it used to join the dependent clause to the independent clause. Thank you. All right. So here we have, guys, it says, I will be able to drive when I get older. All right. So what is the uh, subordinating conjunction, guys? When. 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 Thank you. Is it at the beginning or is it in the middle? Uh, in the middle. middle. Is it in the, the middle. middle? Do we need a the comma middle. or not? Well, no. 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 No, we don't need a comma. All right, now. Okay, so if I tell you I will be able to drive, is that a complete idea or thought or not? Complete. Incomplete no, idea. Not complete. It's not complete because if I say to you, Elmer, I will be able to drive. And then Elmer looks at me like, I have, but so what else do you want to tell me? All right, it's not, my thought is not completed. He's expecting me to say something else. And I say, when I get older, all right, even like older than what I am now, all right? So you need a complete, I mean, if you notice, I will be able to drive is an independent. I mean, it's a, I will be able to drive. In that case, if we put it together, then the whole thing, I will be able to drive. When I get older, it makes a complete thought, a complete idea. Using the subordinating conjunction. Let's do another one here. Ah, let's not. Let's take a picture of this one, guys, please. It's your time to shine. Take a picture of this. Either a screenshot or a, or a picture from your cell phone. Take a picture of this one. Next, ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. We're going to work with 12 sentences. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to complete those ideas or those sentences using subordinating conjunctions. Okay. So if you want, you may take the pictures of these ones that we had examples of. For example, these ones. Alguna de esas tendrá sentido with your sentences or the other ones that are here. Yes. Or these ones that we have here at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say I'm sharing right now. I'm going to send you to your breakout rooms and what I want you to do is using those subordinating conjunctions and using those sentences, complete them using them, okay? They might be, if they are required to go at the beginning, do them at the beginning, but then you have to omit the comma if it's necessary, all right? Do you understand what you're going to be working on? Yes, teacher. All right, all right, very good. So I'm gonna send you to your breakout room right now. Wow, we have 26 students, really? That's great, I hope to have you guys the whole, Four full weeks. house. Yeah, full house all, all month. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so start clicking on the invitation so you may go to your uh, group. You're going to be working in pairs. Normita, hi Norma. Jennifer, Norma and Flor. Hi, Florcita. Flor? Mm -hmm. 
Hi, Rocio. Hi. Are you alone? Yes. I'm yes. going to move you to another group because Flor is having problem with her internet connection. Okay. Okay, okay. so just give Thank me a second. You. I'm going to move you right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rocio. All right. I already sent the other invitation, Rocio, so you may click on it.
so that. Hello, Eli. Hello, Eric. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Are you guys finished? No. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, I don't know. For me, it's the first time I'm uh, reviewing this topic. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. But you have understood yeah. it, Eric. Teacher. Yeah, but. Ajá, Elita. Uh, fíjese que en la tarde yo vi la, la plataforma, estuve revisando y estuve haciendo los, algunos ejercicios. En el 1.3 no salía ese video. Que no, se pasó. no, no, ya, pero Porque ya está. El, el mismo. Sí, sí pero... ahorita lo revisé y ya estaba, pero en la sí. tarde. Yo por eso ahora que lo estaba viendo y fui a revisar. <risa> Porque era el mismo video. Ajá, ya vi. No, es fixed. Ok. Very good, Eli. ¿Qué tal con sus alumnos? Esta semana no va a tener, ¿verdad? No, eso le estaba contando a Eric. En la mañana me levanté temprano porque nos dijeron que nos reuniéramos con ellos solo para motivarles. Ajá. Que, pues sí, por todo esto que se está viviendo. Sí, pues sí. Para tener un, una pequeña reunión con ellos. Solo con los guías. A ver, ¿qué tal? Sí. Poquitos, en, poquitos entraron porque como supuestamente algunos no tienen energía. Sí, sí, claro, exacto. Uh -huh. Por eso, sí. pero ahí que llegaron estuve. Está bien, very nice. Un All ratito right. y sí, no vamos a, a tener esta semana así ah, clases pero, directas, adiós. pero... <risa> ah, pero nosotros siempre nos clavan usted. Sí, me que imagino. Tenemos que revisar lo pendiente, que no sé qué. Siempre very busy, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> pues sí. Okay, very good. Keep on working with Eric then, okay? Okay. Yep. Very good. Thank you, guys. Hi, Ever Christina. Hi, Alexia. Hello. Hi. Hi, girls. Are you doing okay? I I have some some doubts. Questions? Uh huh. Yes. Um. And all the, the sentences that are two blanks that, that they need uh, two words, right? Yeah. Oh, oh. Do you do you have? <laughs> can you? Let's see. I'm gonna. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm gonna share my screen so we can work one of them out. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Aha, Selena, ¿qué le pasó el módulo pasado? Cuenten. <laughs> Nos avanza. que me regañaron porque me acuesto muy noche. <laughs> Me oh. regañaron porque muy noche me acuesto y entonces probé en el otro horario, pero le dije a mi esposo, lo siento mucho, pero regreso a mi horario habitual, la profesora es la mejor, le dije, no, no me gustó el método del otro profesor y me regresé. Ah, bueno. <risa> Así Está que estoy bien. de regreso. Qué galán, qué bueno tenerla. Very good. A ver, a um... ver. Alexia, regáleme cuál, en cuál es. De ejemplo? oveja perdida. Sí. No regresó. Sí. I'm not sure if we can use as if in uh -huh. sentence. As if he rules the world. See? Yeah, you can. He behaves as is as if he rules the world. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yay, well, Very good, okay. Alexia. Nice. We started yeah. moving. When? Yeah, very good. When he took off the braya, very nice. Number three, I'm going to go. Even though? Yeah, even though. Even though. Even though. Yes. Even though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even though my parents say, even though. Very good. Nice. And the last even one, though. number four, girls. Uh, the last one. Ooh. I'm not sure about that. It could be, I think we can use scenes, but, but, ah. Uh, what are the choices that we can have? Let's see. Oh, yes. Um, we need two words, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm a vegetarian, so so that makes sense for me. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Um, hmm. What do you think it can be? I'm not making sense of it right now. Could you girls have choices for that one? 
Ever since? Ever since kill Lally, kill Ever living since animals? kill living animals for food? Mm. No, I'm not Kinda sure. Like, no. mm. Rather than, <coughs> no. Rather than kill living animals, rather than kill, killing, you know, because of the, the, the um, Rather than. That's a challenge. <laughs> yes. Now yes. that. No. <laughs> Not something. <laughs> I'm like, kidding. No. I'm going to find that maybe another group has the answer. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Give me a second. I'm going to go see what they have and I'm coming back. We're going to go back anyway because it's almost time to go. But so Selena okay. doesn't go to bed late. You don't want to all right, just give me a second, guys, please. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> as long as. Okay, you like me. Hi. Hi, Hello, I mean, hi, Jenny. How are you? My dear Practicing. teacher. My dear are student, you do you guys have number four? <laughs> number, number four. four. Uh huh. Yes. Is I for I kill living animals for food? Ajá. Maybe teacher, aquí inventando el agua azucarada. Before I kill living, pero y el I por qué no lo hicieron? Yes, I. O sea, you guys did, but I mean before. Yeah. I kill. Yeah, I think that one makes sense. I think this one we need to replace. I mean, there is a mistake. That should be. It should say I. Before I kill living animals for food, I am going to become a vegetarian. I think. <gasps> wow, Elmercito and Jennifer. <laughs> you guys are the best. My my dear teacher. And the number one. The, could you? Uh, we feel a little confused. He behaves as if he rules the world. If. As if. As if. Uh -huh. As if. Como si. Yeah? Él se como si. Como si. El fuera de acuerdo a las reglas. Hola, el desierto. Por los. Oh, the rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, no We can eat lunch. Can eat lunch. When, when you like. Mm. You almost finished, right? No. Yeah. Elmer, what number are you working on, Elmer? Number seven, seven, eight. eight. Okay. Hello, Jose. Hi, Herbert. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Herbert. You're new, right? Excuse me. I don't. You're new to I the class. Pretty well. Are you new to the class, Herbert? Yeah, yeah. I'm You're new, new to the right? Class. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Ah. That's good. Welcome. <laughs> uh, I joined after 10 minutes. Ah, okay. All right. Thank so, uh, uh, Herbert, my name is Jessica. Okay. If you need help, let me know. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice meeting you, too. All right. Okay. Okay, we didn't find the third, and we'll try on the fourth one, just... The fourth one, there is a mistake, guys. It should say, I kill animals for food. The I is omitted. Oh. I'm sorry, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so it should say, before okay, I kill animals for food. Sorry. T. Before I... Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And the, fir and the and, third uh, what, one. What is the third one? I can I can see it very well right now. Can you show me okay. what the third one is? Okay, he behave have to Ah, he be the first one, number one. Yes. Ah, he behaves as if. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As if. Yes, as he as <laughs> as if he, he rules the world. We we 
We have a really struggle with that <laughs> sentence. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Well, that's a challenge. All right. Very good. We're gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. We're gonna go back right now to the uh, groups. Okay. Okay. Favor, can you stop Thank sharing you. your screen, Jose, for a second? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Because I'm. Oh. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I was stuck. Thank you so much. We're going to go back right now. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, good Hello. Evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Are we? We're, everybody's here, right? Right now? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So before we go, let's try to whoops. Let's try to um, find the answers for this ones. Just let me get it here. Number one. A ver, uh, Alexia, can you do number one for everyone? And just uh, the rest of you. He behaves. He yes. behaves as if he rules the world. Very good. He behaves as if he rules the world. All right. Very nice. And uh, number two, who wants to do number two? We started yeah. moving. I sorry. No, that's okay, Elizabeth. Go ahead, Elizabeth del Carmen. Go ahead. Okay, we start moving while he took his food off the break. Mm, are you sure it's while we started while. moving while he took his food off the break? I'm not sure. After. After. No, not sure. Maybe. He started he moving turn? after he took after. his food off the break, or when he took off uh, his. Yeah. When or after, uh, either or. Mm -hmm. When we yeah. started moving. When. Mm. When he when took his food off the break or after he took off uh, his food off the break. Very good. What about number three? I am going to go. I'm going to go um, even though even my parents excellent. say I can't. Excellent. I'm going even to go even, even though, though, typical teenager. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go even though my parents say I can't. In number four, yo sé que fue una, una, una quebradera de cabeza. <laughs> Ay, hay un error. I'm sorry. Put, yeah. <laughs> All right. Because we need a subject, right? We need a subject, Eric. Thank you so much. So yeah. it should say, I kill living animals for food. So what's the option, Eric? Before, maybe. Yes, before I kill living yeah. animals for food, I am going to become a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I was missing the subject mm -hmm. for me, okay? I'm only human, I make mistakes. <laughs> All right, so I didn't finish. Uh, can, you, can you repeat the... I take it on me, yes. Uh, before can you repeat I, number four? Yes, before I kill living animals for food, I am going to become a vegetarian. Before I. I was missing ah. I. Before I. Yeah. Okay. I, I yes. didn't include the subject. That was the problem. Before I before I kill before I food. kill living animals for food, I am going to become a vegetarian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see right. number five. I while I waited while my mom paid for the groceries. Okay, another option. Until until, until until I waited until, until my mom until. paid for the groceries. Okay, very good. Number six, well, I, I run tumbe. also. Okay, any other choice for number six? I run when although when they because, get scary. Because, because, I because. run because I was whenever. Whenever, whenever. yes, when. I run whenever I oh, when I yeah. When I, when I I was scared. When I was scared, yeah. I ran when I was scared. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. All right, when I was scared. Number seven, we will go running. When we tie our shoes. Okay. Why? When? We After. will go running. After we tie our After. shoes, sounds After. better. After, After we tie our shoes, yeah. Sounds better. Mm -hmm. We can eat lunch. We can eat lunch. Uh, and, hey, so when, whatever. If, whenever. We can eat lunch whenever you like. Whenever. Or whatever. Uh, whatever. Wherever you like whenever. also, whenever. yeah. Si se fija, hay unas que tienen sentido with other ones, right? As long as it makes sense, it's okay. Look, what we cannot do is when they don't make any sense. 
Number nine. Um, whenever, whenever I get happy, whenever I get happy, I smile. Or when I get uh, happy, I smile. Very good, nice. And uh, number ten, I'm not leaving. <gasps> until you unless say you're you sorry. sorry. Unless you say you're sorry, or Very until wrong. you say you're sorry. Either or. Very good. We cannot go skiing. And <laughs> unless. Sorry. Unless we have a skis. Very good. Uh, I'm missing an I there also. Number 12, I turn the key. As long as. As long as. I start the car. I turn the key as the long key as I the start the car. I'm missing the subject again. All right. Mm. All right, guys. Very good. We're going to stop today for now. All right, I know Josecito. ¿Qué le pasó, Jose? Hoy no me avisó Jose, Jose, Jose Rodríguez. El time, time. Empezamos tarde, teacher. Estamos reponiendo. All right, very good. Okay, guys. So, ya hay más que vengo de, de una clase de 7 a 8, luego de 8 a 9, y hoy con ustedes, de 9 a 10. O sea, que desde las 7 I'm here. All right, very good, guys. Sigamos, teacher, sigamos. Oh. Esta es la más right. chiva, teacher. ¿Mm? Esta es la más chiva. Of course. <laughs> All right, guys. Better nice. grabado. All right, very good, guys. So thank you so much. Nice to meet everyone. All right. Eh, poco a poco se van a sentir más parte del grupo. It's a nice group. It's really, really fun. So thank you so much for being in class. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank Así como tuve full house ahora, espero tenerlo like los otros cuatro semanas que restan. All right. Thank you so much. Right. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye.